Hello, secret agents. I'm Caden, and this is Izzy. Izzy. Izzy! Izzy! I was just rocking out to my top secret playlist of embarrassing songs. Cool. Can I listen? Oh, no. It's dangerous classified materials. Dangerous? Yes. If it fell in the wrong hands, I'd be in danger of being really embarrassed. Oh, look! Our assignment today is to build an impenetrable safe and hide the directions on how to open it. We could build a safe to fit my iPhone. And I'll create something to hide the directions on how to open that safe. that will keep your perfect playlist super safe. <laughs> I'm gonna make a fake shoe sole for Izzy's shoe. For this, you'll need white cardstock, a pen, fabric, double-sided tape, scissors, and a shoe. I'm using Izzy's. Start by removing the insole of the shoe. Trace it onto a piece of white cardstock paper. Cut out the paper sole and cover the top in double-sided tape. Tape around the rim. Now carefully place the fabric over it and press down. Your fabric should be the color of your shoe sole. Flip it over. Cut off the extra fabric. Trim the side so it will fit perfectly in the shoe. Write your message on the cardstock side of the sole. I'm writing secret message because I don't know the code to Izzy's box. Izzy will write the code here. Finally, place it in your shoe, fabric side facing up. Now it looks like the bottom of Izzy's shoe. Pretty cool, huh? I'm gonna show you how to keep your spy gear safe in a puzzle box safe. It's a simple looking box, but has a trick latch to confuse thieves. For this you'll need popsicle sticks, a hot glue gun, heavy duty scissors, black paint, a sponge brush, a paper towel, and a ruler. Start by making the sides of your box. Glue six popsicle sticks side by side. You'll need to make four of these. Take one of your popsicle stick sides and cut it in half. Using your ruler, measure two inches from the flat sides and cut. Cut off the rounded sides. Repeat this for your other half. You should now have two small rectangles. Glue four more popsicle sticks together. Set that aside. Glue two more pieces together. Cut the two piece in half. Glue a two popsicle piece to a four popsicle piece. This creates the trick side. Cut two separate popsicle sticks two inches long. Cut the rounded end. Glue this stick to the two stick piece. It should look like a T shape. The T-shaped piece will fit into the trick side. To make the false box lid, glue four popsicle sticks side to side. Keep three popsicle sticks for later. You'll use these to make the details on the box. Now to assemble the box. Start by laying down one of the sides of the box. Glue another side onto it like this. Now take your trick side and glue it onto the other side like this. Glue your rectangle side here, here, and here. Carefully wedge it between the two sides of the box. Hold it until it dries. Place the box with the trick side facing up. Glue a four piece to the trick side so you cover the hole. Glue your last six piece on top. Now place the T-shaped piece into the hole in the trick side. Glue the single popsicle stick to the back of the box. Line it up with the T-shaped piece, like this. This will hold the side panel in place. Now paint everything with your sponge brush.
Once it's dry, slide the T-shaped piece into place and wedge the side panel into the box. It should now look like the box is completely sealed. To open the secret side, pull on the T-shape and it'll pop open. Now you have your very own puzzle safe. Great, now I can keep my dance beats secured. And the trick to opening the safe is tucked away in my dancing shoes. Your playlist may be embarrassing, but check this out. This is DJ Caden Spy Jams 2018. Nope, that's embarrassing too. Man, I was really feeling that. <sighs> Isn't the silence nice? Thanks for watching. Click over here for the latest DI Spy videos. And remember to hit the subscribe button for more DreamWorks TV videos. What are your favorite spy jams? Let us know in the comments below. I can do acapella spy jams. Woohoo, it's a party!